Hi, it's Miss Roosevelt. So it's three and a half years that I've been natural. I get that question a lot and I want to throw it out there. Three and a half years natural. Yay, spirit fingers. <laughs> I'm real excited. I am so excited. I did a big chop in May 2009. I had the teeny weeny afro. My daughter had just graduated from, well, she was going to graduate from high school. I cut my hair right before the graduation. She looked at me like, what the heck are you going to do with your hair? And I'm like, oh, I'll figure something out. I'll put some water on it and some gel. I don't know. But I knew that my hair being relaxed was not good for me. And I didn't know at the time, but what I was doing was transitioning anyway, transitioning from being nat from being relaxed to natural. I put braids in my hair and I wore the braids for about uh, maybe two months. And I wore the braids and I was trying to get my hair to just grow out so that it could, I would have enough length to cut my hair. Now I big chop four or five times. I don't even know how many times I've big chopped. I'm, I'm trying to go through and look at pictures to see because I big chop so many times because relaxers never worked for me and I, I will big chop grow my hair for like a year and a half my hair gets to the point like I don't know what the heck to do with it so I would relax again I get to the point we'll figure it out the relaxers are for me I'll big chop again and I did that over and over until my cousin <laughs> Silky Locks and she is here on YouTube. I don't know if she's still doing videos right now, but Silky Locks told me about this hair care world, this healthy hair care world. I was like, what the heck? And when I went on and I found YouTube, I found all these different hair care forums, I was like, this is my savior, really. And it saved my hair because now I know that I don't have to go back to relaxers in order for my hair to look nice. I don't have to go back to relaxers for my hair to grow. I don't have to go back to my to relaxers so that I can be able to manipulate and care and, 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 and comb through my hair. I don't have to do that anymore. And and oh my gosh, I want to thank the hair care world, the, the healthy hair care world for giving me the information. Um, and it doesn't matter if your hair is relaxed, natural, lock, whatever. Your hair can be healthy. And I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited about learning more and getting my hair into a healthy state. Woohoo! Okay, so what I'm doing for my hair, right now, at three and a half years, I've tried everything. I've learned that there is no magic potion to hair growth. None. Your hair is genetically fit to grow a certain amount every month, every day. Your hair grows every day. And it's only gonna grow what you're gen genetically set for it to grow for it. And as long as you don't have any medical problems or anything like that with your scalp, your hair should grow that same amount every day. And someone said somewhere that is typically about a half of an inch per month. My hair doesn't grow quite a half of an inch a month and even my daughter her hair grows about a quarter of an inch per month so in ev so everybody's hair grows differently and and that was so important for me to figure out that although you know i look at the hair crush i look at the long hair don't care and i would just be like in awe like oh i can't wait for my hair to get like that i can't wait for my hair to be so long and luxurious and pretty but I'm you know while watching them and, and, and fantasizing about them I had to step back and say let me enjoy my hair at the at the stage that it's at right now not you know fantasizing and drooling over that having that hair jealousy and all of that I had to learn to enjoy my hair at the stage it was and learn to manipulate and do my hair style my hair um at the stages at so i am so loving my hair i really am i just huh, I'm, I'm i'm loving it now because i have learned what my hair likes now right now i am doing a modified version of the curly girl method and no i did not start the curly girl method because i wanted my hair to grow faster because my hair is not growing any faster because i'm using the curly girl method it's simply growing the same 
um, lint every day like it typically does. What the Curly Girl Method does for me that I like, my hair to me look like it stays moisturized a lot longer. My hair does not look like it dries out like it was drying out before. So I am really, really loving the Curly Girl Method. And with the Curly Girl Method, I am using a conditioner to cleanse my scalp and my hair. I'm using conditioners as a leave-in. I'm, I'm limiting the amount of comb use and brush use that I have. And that's kind of how I'm modifying it a little bit. Because I will use a comb to detangle my hair every now and again. And I will use a brush to detangle my hair. But I really am I focus on finger detangling while I am um, conditioning my hair and while I'm cleansing it, I'll finger detangle. And that helps me not have to detangle so much with the comb at that once a month period where I use a comb. So I'm really digging that. I'm also not using a towel to dry my hair. I dry my hair with a t-shirt. And I find old t-shirts is clean and I'll just wrap that around and it just soaks the, the water up, the excess water up out of my hair like nobody's business. So, and the products that I use with the Curly Girl Method, you can't use any shampoos that have sulfate in them. Because that's a drying, it's like a stripping agent anyway. So I don't use that. I don't use any, um, I might use a product with some silicone in it but it suggests that you don't use silicone products or products with parabens but every now and again i might slip in a product that has some of that stuff and if i do i use a clarifying conditioner the vo5 clarifying conditioner so that i can clarify all of that off my off my hair and my scalp also i use castor oil uh the curly girl metal suggests you don't use castor oil mainly because the oil is really thick and using conditioner sometimes won't be able to strip all of the oil off your hair strands so again i use a clarifying conditioner because my hair does like castor oil and i use castor oil in my hair all the time i protect the style 98 to 99 percent of the time and by protective styling what i'm what i mean is i tuck my ends under most of the time so if you see me nine times 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I have my hair in a protective style. I have it in a bun. I have it up in a ponytail with it, it turned under. I have it in banana clips. It's pinned under. Something to keep my hair protected at all times. I'm not saying that you have to do that, but it works well for me because when I put my hair up in a protective style, it keeps my hands out of my hair and I have that hand to hair syndrome so whenever my hair is loose I am constantly in it so it really helps me out when I have my hair in a protective style because I can just put it away it's done I don't have to worry about it and a couple of times I may even wear my hair for a couple of days in the same protective style to keep my hair out of it um, but I just make sure that my hair is well moisturized, make sure the ends of my hair are well moisturized if I am going to put it away for a couple of days at the time. So I am, that's what I do 98, 99% of the time is protective style. And you know I love my protective styles and check out my Facebook page and if you have protective style ideas, please put it on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Roosevelt's with an S. That's a plug. <laughs> <laughs> During my hair care journey, I've learned that the only two things to ensure um, healthy hair growth and proper retention, those two things are time and proper care. You have to have proper care, take proper care of your hair, and you have to give yourself the time it takes for your hair to grow down to waste in it. If you want waste in the hair, figure out how, how many inches per month your hair grows and multiply that out and it'll tell you how long it'll take for your hair to grow. Right now I am well past my strap length. I have about five inches until I get to um, wasting it. And I just have to calculate how long will it take me to get from here to there. And, the, and by my calculations in 2013 I should be like at wasting it. Not my total hair but my bottom part of my hair here will be at wasting it. And when you're on your healthy hair care journey, consistency, 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 consistency. That is so very important. You have to figure out what your hair likes. Do your homework. Make sure you do your own homework. 
figure out what your hair likes figure out what it does when it doesn't like something don't do that anymore do the things that your hair like and make sure you are consistent with your hair care regimen your hair care regimen does not have to be so complex that you have to have mathematical formulas to be able to complete it your healthy hair care journey can be as simple as washing conditioning moisturizing sealing and styling your hair those are five things that just it's simple you don't have to add all that other stuff in there if you don't want to it's very simple and i've learned that for my hair simple is best i don't even have to to, to try to remember all this extra stuff to do because right now my hair care regimen is super simple i also suggest when you're on your healthy hair journey take pictures do uh your hair journal take pictures do a video um log of your hair care journey you don't have to share the video with anybody if you don't want to because you can make all your videos private if you put them on youtube but just keep up with your journey that way you can see the growth that you're having and one day you look in the mirror and you're like whoa my hair is too long to go in that puff whoa what am i gonna do now I have to think of another style so um but that's it i just wanted to come in show you my hair at three and a half years natural i am again i'm excited i love my hair and i can't ever see myself going back to relaxer and that's just what i say right now but right now i know what to do with my hair and i don't really need a relaxer like i thought i needed it in the past because right now i know what to do for my hair I'm excited. <laughs> All right. You all have a good day and I hope this helps. Bye.